Okay, my dear friends, so let me reveal to you the three must know PowerPoint hacks in order for you to create these kind of beautiful animated infographics, okay? And as you can see, a couple of things are going on. And first of all, we have these glowing shapes. We have these little lasers running around and we have these animated icons. And I think for this tutorial, we'll do a bit more basic example, but I'll show you all of the hacks that you need to know in order to create, you know, something like this. And I think for my PowerPoint Animation Mastery students, I'll do a full step-by-step -step video on how to actually create this exact infographic. And I think we can even do one more version where we integrate animation triggers, where we can basically, you know, click on the first element and we get, you know, these little lasers. Then we can click on these guys, then on these guys, and on these guys, and on these guys. Okay, so for this tutorial, we'll keep it simple, but for this more in-depth uh, lesson, feel free to check it out, PowerPoint Animation Mastery on pptskill.com, link is in the video description, and now let's jump into the tutorial. So, since a couple of things are going on, we have to know a couple of things as well in order to make all of this happen. So, let me show you all of the hacks that you need to know. And for that, let's just jump into this empty white slide, and of course, uh, let's change the background. And on this slide, I was just using a plain, simple black uh, background. So let's just right click on the slide. Let's go to Format Background. Let's go to Fill Options. Let's go to Solid Fill and let's choose Black. OK. And now the first step, the first hack is to actually understand how to create all of these, you know, diagram shapes or these uh, infographic shapes. And all of these guys are actually just simple rounded rectangles. So we can just go into insert, go to shapes. Let's choose the rounded rectangle tool. And let's just click and drag in order to draw a rounded rectangle. And of course, with this yellow handle, we can adjust how rounded our shape is. We can adjust how high, how tall it is. Let's just go, for example, with 1.85 centimeters, something like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. And now let's just right click on the shape. Let's go into the format shape options. And now for the solid fill, I'm going with this shade of black. OK, so it's not completely black. It has a little bit of lightness. That's beautiful. And now for the line, let's go with white line. But let's add some transparency. Let's add actually 60% transparency. That's nice. And for the line width, I'm going with 0 0.75 points for the line width. And uh, this is what we have. We have this beautiful rounded rectangle. And now in order to add some text inside, I just make sure that the text is center aligned, that the text uh, color is set to white. And now for the body, I mean, <laughs> for the font, I'm using space grotesque and the font size. Let's just use 12. OK. And now we can just double click inside and, you know, basically type in anything that we wish. For example, AI agent. OK. That's super duper awesome. OK, and as you can see, this is more like a rectangle. And in case you'd like to have a, you know, a square, a rounded square like over here, we can just, you know, hold down the control key and drag a copy just like that. And then we can just check, you know, what is the height of this guy? It's 1.85. <laughs> All right. So now we can just copy this number and paste it for the width as well. And this way we get a square. OK, but as you can see, our text gets a little bit squished down, so no worries. We can just right click on the format shape. Let's go to text options and let's go to text box options, text box options. And let's just uncheck wrap text and shape and skadoosh. Our text has more space. I think we can break it down into two lines or we can just basically change the text to something shorter. For example, a trigger. That's nice. So let's just make sure that uh, both of these shapes are on the same line. OK, just like that. And then we can add a few more of these, you know, rectangles. I mean, uh, squares, one over here and one over here. OK. So over here we have a model. We have memory over here. So let's just type, for example, model. And let's just type in memory over here. That's nice. OK, and now in order to connect all of these, you know, shapes with beautiful lines, you guessed it, we have to use some lines. So let's just go to insert. Let's go to shapes. Let's choose the line tool. Here it is. 
And now PowerPoint will basically give us connection points so we can just, you know, hover over this point and click on it and start uh, drawing the line until, you know, we connect to this uh, point over here. Then we can release and we have this, you know, blue line that connects both of these shapes. But of course, we can, you know, right click on the line, go into the format shape and we can change a couple of things. So first of all, let's make it white. And now for the transparency, I'm using 60%. So this way we basically make this line gray. And for the width, let's go with 0.75 to make it thinner, just like that. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much it. And as you can see in this case, we have this kind of, you know, more complex uh, shape. So to create these kind of shapes, so let's say this trigger is somewhere over here, we can use uh, these kind of uh, connector shapes. For example, this guy, okay, connector elbow. So once again, we can hover over this uh, square to see those connection points. Now let's just click over here and we just make sure that we connect over here. That's beautiful. And now we can just select this line and hit Control Shift C to copy the style and select this guy and hit Control Shift V to paste the same style. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. So let me just undo a couple of steps and actually let me just duplicate this line and let me connect this uh, line with this uh, shape over here. And let's do the same for this guy as well over here. That's yeah, super duper awesome. And by the way, I had a couple of text boxes here at the top. So, you know, this is just a subtitle. It's using Space Grotesque font size 10. Over here we have Space Grotesque Medium so font size 24. And we have a little line over here. So let me just copy all of these guys. Let's uh, paste them over here. That's yeah, super duper beautiful. Okay, my dear friends, now you know how you can create all of these little beautiful rounded shapes that you can use to build your infographic. That's super duper awesome. And next, I'd like to show you how you can make them glow. As you can see over here, we have this green glow. We have a cyan, pink, red, even orange. And of course, you can, you know, make it glow in any other color that you wish. So in this case, let's just select this trigger rounded square over here. And let's jump into the format shape. We can just right click and choose format shape. Or since I have added the format shape in my quick access toolbar, it's on number four. I can just, you know, select the trigger the shape, hold down the alt key and click on four and skadoosh the format shape will automatically open up. That's a nice shortcut to have. Okay. So to make it glow, first of all, let's add a shadow. So let me just add this preset in the center. Okay. Let's make sure there is no transparency. And now for the color, let me jump to more colors. Okay. And let me choose this super bright green over here. Okay. This one, let's click. Okay. So the transparency is zero for the shadow size. Let's go with 120%. That's nice. And for the blur, let me use 45 points just like that. Okay. Looking beautiful. And now to make this glow, <laughs> really glow. Let's add a glow as well. So let me just, for example, choose this preset. Okay. Let's make sure that we're using the same bright green for the glow. And let me make sure there's no transparency. And for the size, let's go with eight points, just like that. That's nice. And as you can see, our trigger square is starting to glow. That's super duper awesome. And by the way, I think for this guy, as you remember, we have set we have added some line transparency. So I think in this case, you know, where the square is glowing, it's an active state. I think we can remove the transparency. So we know the line is fully white, just like that. And let's check it out on the full screen. That's beautiful. The square is glowing. That's nice. So, you know, in the same way, you can basically just copy the style from this guy. We can paste it to this guy. And we can then just jump into the format shape options and we can just, you know, change the color to something else. So let's go with cyan. Let's go to more colors. Let's pick this color for the shadow and let's pick the same color for the glow as well. And skadoosh, this way we have these beautiful glows that we have over here. That's nice. Okay, my friends, now that you know how you can make your elements glow just like that, the next secret or the next hack that I'd like to teach you in PowerPoint 
is how to create those little running laser beams you know let's check them out once again as you can see we have these constantly running a little lasers across our connectors across our lines so let me show you how we can do that okay so let's get back to our slide and to create those little uh, laser dashes or beams we have to insert just a little line okay so let's just go into shapes let's find the line tool and let's just draw while holding down the shift key a straight line just like that and let's make it quite short for example 0.3 centimeters something like that let's make sure it is wide let's just zoom in a bit just like that let's open up the format shape options so the line is set to white no transparency for the width let's use three points so that line is a little bit thicker now for the cap type let's go with round so that we have that rounded ending and starting okay and now once again we have to add a shadow and a glow and let's uh, say that we'd like to create this little laser over here so in this case we'll have to make it you know green so once again let's add a green shadow let's choose this preset no transparency for the size once again let's go with 120 and uh, the shadow color is going to be the same bright green that's nice and now for the blur let's use uh, 15 points that's beautiful okay and now let's add a glow so for the glow once again let's choose for example this preset let's make sure we're using the same bright green color for the size let's go with three and no transparency just like that okay that's looking beautiful and this way we have this you know little green laser over here and now in order to make it you know move across this line we'll have to add some animations well actually just a single animation let me zoom in that's nice and now let's just position this laser somewhere over here so that it is inside uh, this rounded square later on we'll send this uh, laser to back so it will be invisible but for now let's position it like that and now while it is still selected let's go into animations let's go to add animation and let's add a motion path animation okay and now by default this motion path is going downwards so let's just change its direction to right just like that let's go to the left to, to the right side a bit okay and now this red bubble is the ending position of the animation and it doesn't have to be that far away so we can just grab it and we can hold down the shift key to you know drag it in a straight line and let's position it somewhere over here okay that's good enough and now we can open up the animation pane and we can check out what's going on so we definitely have a motion path animation that's nice it starts on a click okay we can make sure it starts with previous and now for the duration you can go with any duration that you wish for example half a second that's beautiful and now let's double click on the motion path animation to jump into additional options and over here let's make sure there's no smoothing and uh, no smooth end okay because in this case we don't need no smooth start and smooth end we just need you know constant speed and now for the timing let's make sure that this animation repeats you know uh, endlessly until the end of time so let's make sure we choose this option until the end of slide and now as you can see in the animation pane we have a bunch of these little squares which basically means that this animation is going to be repeated you know until the end of slide you know as long as we stay in this slide this animation will be running that's awesome okay and now let's make sure that we select this laser and let's just whoops let's just right click on it or we can just go into shape format and let's send it to back okay and now let's check it out on the full screen let's see what we have created so far and skadoosh my friends as you can see that a little laser is running across the line it is looping infinitely that's nice and these two shapes are nicely glowing in the dark and now you know how you can design all of these rounded rectangles and squares to basically build any infographic that you can imagine and now for my PowerPoint animation mastery students I'll show you how we can build this a little bit more complex infographic and in this uh, first version as you can see all of the animations play right away and I have prepared a second version as well 
where we'll be using a couple of animation triggers. So for example, we can click over here and only this part of the infographic is being animated. Then we can click over here to launch, you know, this part. And we can click over here, over here and over here. So you will learn basically two options. One option is where all of the animations play right away. And the second option is to use animation triggers. So if you haven't joined the PowerPoint Animation Mastery yet, you can do that on pptskill.com and I'll meet you there and there we can continue this awesome lesson. And by the way, this lesson will be added to section eight of the PowerPoint Animation Mastery course. So just go to section eight, which is infographic animations. And there you'll find this full lesson, which will be probably called something like animated neon infographic. So I'll see you there.